Really cool, huh? Something that's gonna blow your mind? Something, something to make your skull explode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? You want it? You want it? Let's go. It's the new Guinness World Record holder for the smallest movie ever created. Here's a clip. That wasn't impressive, says you to me, and me to you responds with this. That movie was made with atoms. 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 Now watch this second clip with that fact in your mind and keep your jaw off that dirty floor, you dirty human. The movie's titled A Boy in His Atom and it was cranked out by the geniuses over at IBM. The stop motion story is 242 frames long and was created by nudging the atoms along a copper surface with a tiny robotic arm. Like, tiny robotic arm. And the only reason we can sit back and enjoy this cinematic wonder is because it's been magnified a hundred times. Sorry, hundred million times. Thank you. Four IBM scientists aspiring to be the next batch of hot YouTubers meticulously worked for 10 straight 18 hour days. And here are some fun facts. The tip of that tiny robotic arm is a single atom. That's this big. <laughs> the atoms used are actually two atoms stacked on top of one another, creating single carbon monoxide molecules. And those ripples you undoubtedly notice in the mini-movie are free-floating electrons. Now, each dot isn't one molecule. The atom character itself, the single dot, is composed of 120 atoms, and the nanophysicists manipulated about 10,000 different atoms over the course of the film's creation. So cool! So cool! And because this is a movie, we want to treat it just like we would any other movie. So we're gonna bring in our resident source-fed movie guy, Steve Zaragoza, for a movie review. Thought it sucked! First of all, completely unoriginal story. We've all seen the hero's journey, the rise of our small protagonist, Adam, eager to be understood and loved by his boy, which we can only assume because there's zero character development. However, I did enjoy the topical commentary on bullying when boy proceeds to abuse Adam, mocking his dance moves and bouncing him off the ground until Adam splats into a puddle of gratuitous gore, which the boy proceeds to shockingly stomp on for like a good two minutes, even though the film is like 40 seconds. Also, they spoiled all the good shit in the trailer, not to mention had the worst CGI slash green screen work since, I don't know, Journey 2, the mysterious island where the rock's riding on a giant bee? A giant bee? Also, what's with the end part? Fink? What are you telling me what to do with my life? You telling me what to do, IBM? Don't tell me what to do! I hate when there's a blatant agenda from movie studios with their political bullshit. Okay, thanks, Steve. Um, well, uh, guy's got opinions. I mean, what can I say? I mean, the movie was made with atoms. I think maybe he's overlooking that fact. I don't know, maybe they kind of rested on their Adam's laurels a little bit. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I guess if you really think about it, every single movie ever made was actually made with atoms. Yeah, if we get technical. So, I mean, Adam's you know, zoomed in. Yeah. So what did you guys think of the movie? Let us know in the comments down below. And for the fun of it, why not give us a synopsis for the sequel? That'll be fun. Huh? What else will be fun, Elliot? I don't know, drugs? <laughs> And possibly liking and subscribing and clicking the annotation for more video goodness. I am Joe Barretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. We are made of atoms. Yeah. We don't you don't hear us bragging about yeah. it. Yeah. That movie was really cool. Go back to making pewters. Like super IBM. Super inspired me. Time to vine. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs>